What's up guys? Here with another video about budget guitars. You know, you all seem to like budget guitars. I like them. I love them a lot. So, budget acoustic guitars and where you can get them, right? And of course, we're going to start with everybody's favorite, right? Harley Benton. Because Harley Benton, they're like, every, everybody loves the Harley Bentons these days. I do. I love Harley Bentons. I bought, uh, let's see, one, two, two acoustic guitars from Harley Benton. And I love both of them. My brother bought one. So we've had good experiences thus far. Let's, uh, let's go over it here. They have guitars inexpensive enough. Here's an acoustic at $65. $65 bucks for an acoustic guitar that's cheap enough that even with shipping you're not in a ton of money if it turns out to be less than great you know so what you're not out a ton but my experience with them is their guitars are anywhere from pretty decent to really really good so for a beginner or for somebody who wants to you know wants another guitar that's a good place to start here they have their uh, D120TB. This one, 70 bucks. This is the one my brother bought. And I really like it. I played it. Uh, I've played better guitars, but not at that price for certain. This is a decent guitar. It's the kind of thing that at one time you would have paid, you know, like 200, 250 bucks for. But in today's market, you can get them pretty cheap. 70 bucks. You know, this one I have. Harley Benton Delta Blues OE. This is the exact model that I have. I've reviewed it um, twice, actually. I, I reviewed it once when I bought it, and once after I've owned it for like, you know, a good 15 months or so, just showing how it's held up. I've taken it everywhere. Uh, I, this has been my go-to guitar to just grab when I'm going out. And I like it. I, I love that guitar. It's been really good for me. Uh, other people I've talked to who bought it really like it as well. And, I mean, it's it's a $100 guitar, right? Here's, uh, you can see their prices go up a little bit. If you want something that's kind of like an ovation along those lines, here's that style of guitar. $102. Uh, you know, excellent, excellent price, especially if you want something with that particular look. I think they have other colors. This one's blue. Good guitar. These are all from the Harley Benton, you know, it's sold through Toman. I'll put, I'll put a link. I'll put a link in the description below to uh, Toman's website. You can look up their acoustic guitars if you're looking for one. Here's another one, the Harley Benton Custom Line. Uh, this one's a B stock, uh, but they have, you know, which means it costs a little bit less. This one's 100, like 170 bucks. Uh, one that's not a B stock, it shouldn't be that much more than that, you know, like within $10.00 difference. I like B stocks. You can save a couple bucks and uh, usually they're pretty good. They're not like real beat up or anything like that. B stock just means it might show signs of wear. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe it was an open box thing. Maybe it was in, you know, it was probably a display model in one of their stores because, you know, I'm pretty sure they have showrooms in Europe, you know, but that's a pretty good guitar. And then they do have higher priced ones. Here's one like 250 bucks. So you're getting like over $200. But still, that, that's a pretty inexpensive guitar. You know, uh, a lot of these are made from pretty good materials. I know the uh, Delta Blues ones are all mahogany. Let me see. What's this one say? Well, I don't know. I didn't, you know. I'm taking screenshots here. I didn't take a shot of what it's made out of. But a lot of these, you can look at the details. They have spruce top ones. They have mahogany guitars. They have ones that are made out of premium materials. And I mean, like I said, the Delta Blues is all mahogany, and that's 100 bucks. Here's one. Uh, you get over $300 here with that, and that's one of their nicer ones. You have their uh, solid wood line, which means no laminate, no, you know, nothing like that. All solid wood, like 460 bucks, kind of on the expensive side, especially since, as we'll get into, there are brands that offer uh, solid wood and tone wood guitars for less money. But still, Harley Bentons tend to be pretty good quality for the money uh, from everything I've seen. Here's where we get into what I was saying about the uh, solid wood guitars that cost less than that, and that's Xavier. Now, 
I own uh, an electric and an acoustic guitar from Xavier. I've had people tell me that they've had problems with their Xaviers. I personally haven't. Uh, I can only speak from my own experience. Everything about them has been great, right? Th this one is, uh, let's see, 150 bucks. That spruce top, mahogany back and sides. That's uh, premium woods, premium materials. Good guitar. They tend to be good guitars. You know, this is the one I bought. This is like uh, 200 bucks is what I paid for it. It still is. Yeah, $200. Spruce top, rosewood back and sides. Now, I'm pretty sure it's laminated rosewood. Still, mine sounds terrific. Absolutely terrific. Right, plus the case I bought with it. You get like $10 off a case when you're buying a guitar. And they have some really, really cool cases. It's worth checking out. I bought a really nice, you know psychedelic paisley black and purple paisley case it, it's on my review of the guitar really cool case honestly uh I, I almost like the case better than the guitar but i really do like that guitar it's an excellent one this is let's see this is their more expensive one right uh they're 370 bucks spruce top and solid rosewood sides and back 370 dollars uh Basically the same guitar I bought, but solid rosewood instead of laminated. Uh, I would have bought this one, but I didn't have $370. I only had $200. Bucks, so I bought I bought the, the other one. Still, good deal, especially for the woods that are being used. That's pretty cheap. And I'll put a link to a, a Guitar Fetish website. They sell the Xavier guitars. I'll put a link down below to theirs as well. Um, so if you're looking for it, you, you can find some good acoustic guitars. They have their Tonewood series. Here's uh, their Black Walnut, which is really kind of cool. $280 for that one. They have, uh, what's that, Zebra Wood. That's fairly exotic. And that's $340. Bucks. You know, Tonewood, they mean they have... Uh, it's like exotic woods. It's, it's supposed to have really interesting tones to it. Here's another zebra wood one, and that has a pickup in it, $350. I mean, that's pretty cheap for these kinds of guitars, for using that, you know, quality of wood. And I really like these, the look of them. I'd love to buy one. They have their all wood raised grain uh, spruce top guitars. Really kind of cool looking, right? This is the red one. And they have it in blue. I'm, I think they have it in black, too. You know, those run $220. Really different looking. And, I mean, you're talking like exotic woods. Really kind of something different. Here's their spruce top mahogany guitar. Like $170. Bucks. That's some interesting stuff. Xavier has some guitars that really... I'd, I'd be interested in buying some of those tone wood ones. Really kind of cool looking really like different kind of, I imagine the tone has to be a little bit different. They're using exotic woods. In the very least, it seems like it'd be something cool to own, right? So then I went over to Musician's Friend to see what they have. This one really interests me because it's Schecter, right? I like Schecter guitars. Uh, they make great electric guitars. I've heard really good things about this acoustic guitar. Everybody I've, I've talked to that, that's played one or owns one, loves it absolutely loves the thing and it's three hundred dollars which is still pretty cheap for a guitar i mean it's not the 65 dollar harley benton but still 300 bucks and it's a brand name it's a schecter you're ordering it from musicians friends so you don't have like the the uh shipping charges from europe like you do a toman and that's that's really kind of cool i that's one worth checking out now to get into the really inexpensive ones Rogue has guitars that start at 70 bucks. Uh, honestly, Rogue is pretty cheap guitars. I've played some of them, and they're definitely serviceable. For a beginner or somebody that just wants a, a cheap guitar to travel with or, or take out with them, that, that's a pretty good choice. I mean, I wouldn't sneeze at it. Most of the Rogues I've played, they're not like top-notch guitars. They're not like, you know, real super quality. I, I think my Harley Benton, my Xavier is definitely better than a Rogue, but still 70 bucks is pretty cheap. And every time I played a Rogue, it's been at least solidly good. You know, you can't complain about that. 
here you have an Epiphone, and we all know Epiphone, right? 140 bucks for an Epiphone acoustic guitar. Once again, it's a, it's a brand name. You're getting the backing of that brand. And really, that's, that's pretty inexpensive. Uh, it, it's cool looking guitar. I'm pretty sure they have other you know, flavors for around the same price. Epiphone is a solid brand. Uh, I haven't played this guitar. I've played other Epiphone acoustics, and they're always good. Even the cheap ones are, you know, they're solid guitars. Here's something interesting. I found this on there. Uh, Luna Guitars. Right? They had one for 180 bucks. I love Luna. Uh, I love their instruments. I, I like their, uh, their uh, ukuleles. I've played some of their banjos. are really good. And their guitars have always impressed me. I haven't bought one because they tend to cost more than this. This one's 180 bucks. That's pretty cheap. And I've, I've always really liked Luna guitars. They're one of my favorite brands, actually. Them and, and Seagull are ones that have always really impressed me a lot. So here's another brand you know, Gretsch. They're Jim Dandy flat top acoustic. It's kind of like a parlor guitar, a little, like a small bodied guitar, 170 bucks. I've seen this one uh, a lot. I've never played it, but I mean, it's Gretsch. So it, you figure, you know, it ought to be at least decent. It ought to be anywhere from decent to pretty damn good. I like Gretsch and I, I would I'd buy that guitar if I had a spare 170 bucks laying around. I don't, but yeah, I'm interested. That's a cool guitar. Here's another interesting one. Ibanez, their exotic wood piccolo acoustic guitar, 180 bucks. I love Ibanez. I've never played an acoustic guitar from Ibanez, but I love their electrics. I, 180 bucks would be worth, worth it to try out one of their acoustic guitars. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I've been to a lot of music stores. I haven't really seen Ibanez acoustic guitars, but here's one, exotic wood, 180 bucks. That's pretty budget. Now these, I, I looked up on Musician's Friends. So uh, you can, th these are the types that you can find there. I'm sure you can find them at Sweetwater or any other major, in, you know, musical instrument store, you know, music store. Here's another one, the Recording King Dirty 30s, right? 140 bucks. That's really a cool looking guitar. I mean, uh, if it plays good, it plays good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's $140. It looks really cool. Yeah, that's worth giving a shot to. But anyway, if you're looking for a budget acoustic, there, there's another choice that you have. You, there are a lot of different flavors. And Recording King, you know, you don't see them a lot. It, I don't know, it's something different, I guess. Now this, I know something about. The Yamaha... This is their FS800 folk acoustic guitar, $200. I have a good bit of experience with Yamaha guitars. Uh, I own a Yamaha C40 classical. My dad owns a Yamaha acoustic guitar. I know several other people that own Yamahas, and they've always been good guitars. I mean, always. I haven't run across a Yamaha yet. I'm sure somebody out there will tell me in the comments. And please tell me, if you've owned a Yamaha that sucked, but I haven't run across one yet. Uh, I mean, 200 bucks. Yamaha uh, makes good, solid stuff, right? And you can find them pretty much anywhere. You can go to Guitar Center and buy a Yamaha guitar. You, you can get them anywhere. They're good, solid guitars. Now, I went over to uh, Amazon, you know, and took a look. Here's the Fender Squire Dreadnought acoustic guitar. It comes with like a little gig bag and a strap and a couple picks and a, uh, one of those clip-on tuners and all that kind of stuff. You know, $200. That's pretty inexpensive, especially because you're getting other stuff with it. I got to be honest, though. I, I own a Fender acoustic. I love their electric guitars. I've never had a single issue with a Fender electric guitar or bass. But my acoustic kind of sucks. And I've known other people that have owned Fenders and I didn't like them, like at all. I Maybe it's because the Fender name makes me kind of expect better than that, but I've had really bad experiences with Fender's acoustic guitars. I put it on here because it, I mean, it's a Fender, well, Fender Squire, but still the one I bought was a, a Fender and I've seen inexpensive Fender acoustics on sale. I put it on here because it's $200. That's a pretty good deal for a name brand acoustic. But at the same time, I, 
I've had bad experiences with Fenders. I'm sure there are people that have had great experiences with Fender acoustics, but I, I haven't. I haven't had one yet that I liked. Here's Jasmine. That's kind of interesting looking guitar. I think that's pretty cool. And it's like a hundred bucks. Any time a guitar is like a hundred bucks, that's pretty reasonable. That's definitely, you know, the cost of entry is low enough. It's worth checking out. And uh, Jasmine, it's, it's, a, it's a different name. Sometimes it's cool to just own guitars, a guitar made by somebody that, that, that's different. You know, somebody that not everybody that you know has one of. Here is uh, the Amazon, like one of those uh, people that just sell on Amazon. Was that? Wins 40 inches cutaway acoustic guitar. Right, 160 bucks. No idea if it's any good. It comes with a bunch of stuff. It comes with, I, I assume it has a pickup because it comes with a cord with a cable. It's got a cheap gig bag, strap, little clip-on tuner, guitar stand, all that kind of stuff. 160 bucks. I mean, for a beginner, you're getting everything you need. That's kind of cool. It's, it looks cool. The picture is a cool-looking guitar. have no idea if it's any good. But for 160 bucks, you're not breaking the bank to find out. So... I mean, hey, maybe it's worth uh, may maybe it's worth checking out. Here's another Yamaha. And this is an Amazon exclusive, $150, solid top acoustic guitar. It that once again, Yamaha. I have had nothing but good experiences with, so I personally would feel comfortable paying 150 bucks for that guitar. Uh, I'd feel more than comfortable about it. Amazon exclusive, I'm assuming that means that you can only get that particular guitar from Amazon. So, I don't know. 150 bucks, though. That, that's pretty reasonable for an acoustic guitar. Pretty low cost of entry. And that's... Uh, you can look up other acoustic guitars on your own. It's, it's pretty easy, you know? You go to any place that sells guitars. Amazon, Musicians Friends, Sweetwater, anything like that. Look up their acoustic guitars and have it sort from low to high. So you start with the lowest priced ones and then scroll through it until you find something that looks good. You can go check out uh, Harley Benton at Toman's website. I'll put a link and I'll put a link to Guitar Fetish as well because uh, I really like the Xavier guitars a lot. I love Harley Benton. I love Xavier. Those are worth checking out. And like I said, a lot of those others, it's not hard to find. It's not hard to find a, a decent acoustic guitar at a reasonable price these days. They're pretty affordable. Uh, the market is definitely moving toward a more budget-oriented musician, right? Because, hell, why not, man? We're all broke. <laughs> Music does not pay a lot of money usually, unless you're like, you know, all the way at the top, you're some kind of rock star, you're not making enough money to buy expensive guitars. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more of this kind of stuff. And, and definitely, man, I hope you liked the video. Leave a comment. Say what you think. Say how you feel. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Peace out.